Hey, what is up all my social comment friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. I just wanna say off gate that this is not a normal video. I'm not gonna be sitting here spilling the tea. I'm not gonna be talking about other people's issues. I wanted to come on here and I wanted to sit down and talk about me for a minute. I know that that is not normally the content that is on this channel. I know that the last time I posted a video, people thought it, that it was clickbait when it had a title that didn't have to do with someone else. This is not a clickbait title, I promise you. Um, but I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk about some things. Now, I just want to say off gate before I get into it, I understand that the optics of this, their first, some of, some of what I'm going to talk about and some of what has been stressing me out is a first world problem. And I understand that. And I'm just want you guys to know that I'm very grateful for all of you that watch me, everyone that supports me. I'm so happy. Like I'm happy, but I'm not happy at the same time. And I really don't understand why. And I, it's just bothering me really badly. And like, oh my God. Okay, so this all started, I've been doing so good. Like lately, you guys know, I've been working on our candle line. Me and Nick have been working like rigorously to make sure that everything's perfect, that we cover all of our bases, that we make a good product for you guys and that you guys and are going to enjoy what we're putting together. It's been a lot of work and we have been working on it for a very, very, very long time and then when Nick's mom passed away it really threw a wrench in the works it diff it made things very difficult uh, we didn't get to do any work on it and by the time that we got to like finish with Nick's mom's house everything that we had worked on before we just had to redo um that's just what it was uh and that stressed me out quite a bit but uh <laughs> The other day I woke up and I had uh, a phone call from my sister. Phone calls from my sister are never, ever good because my family does not communicate with me. And you guys know, uh, well, you may not know, but I was adopted. So my parents are like really, really a lot older than most people that are my age. I'm 34. My parents are almost 80. My mom and dad are both 78 years old. So they have like really bad health issues. They're older. Um, but I had a phone call from my sister and I found out that my mom was put on a ventilator at the hospital because she was found in a coma. Uh, her ammonia levels were incredibly high um, and she was in sepsis. Uh, so her brain wasn't working right. So they rushed her to the hospital. She was put on a vent. She was on it for like two days and uh, she was finally taken off. But I don't know any updates because my family doesn't um, my family doesn't talk to me unless it's something bad. Um, <sighs> whew. Um, so the other day, you guys know it was Mother's Day and um, I tried to call my mom and I didn't get an answer because the phone number was changed and I didn't get a call from anyone. So that was strike number one. That was like really weighing on me. That bothered me like so much. And then, um, Oh my God, that happened with my mom and I sent flowers before I even knew because she didn't answer my phone call, didn't answer my text. So I sent flowers and then the next day is when I found out that my mom was in the hospital and she didn't even receive the flowers that I sent because they went to her house and she was in the hospital. I don't know that I'm probably getting way too deep into my personal life, but I've been dealing with that along with the stress of our business. And just yesterday I was sitting down, I've been work, I've been trying to work really hard on the content that I've been posting you guys, because I want to, I want to do quality content. I don't want to talk about the bullshit all the time that people do in messy drama. Like, I feel like ever since Nick's mom died, like he and I both have like evolved. Like, of course we love a good kiki. We love a, a little good ha ha where we can talk about other people's drama. I'm always going to do that, but I don't want to make that the main talking point or the main thing that people click on my channel anymore. I will always talk about other people's drama because I'm just nosy for one. And two, I'm a very opinionated person. I will say what I think about anyone. It doesn't matter. Nobody's off, like nobody's off limits with me. Uh, I will always talk about other people's drama and uh, <laughs> because I find it interesting, but I, I'm trying to transition into more like, uh, I don't want to say commentary because I hate when people say that T channels aren't commentary channels, but I'm trying to transition into more like style of videos where I am like not making a script, but making bullet points and like thoroughly researching the stuff that I talk about. And I want to talk about broader 
topics. I want to talk about different things. Like that's why I made the whole Jenny Jones video. I found that so interesting. I used to love Jenny Jones. Uh, I want to do Ricky Lake. I'm working on the Sinead O'Connor video because I'm obsessed with the 90s. Like, I grew up in the 90s. I'm a millennial. That's my thing. And that's the kind of content that I want to work on. I want to talk about, like, controversies, but I want to talk about them, like, it, from the aspect of, like, how problematic, like, 90s TV was and things like that because that's interesting to me. And I've always been about nostalgia. I love 90s music. I love 90s television shows. That's my, that's my jush. <laughs> that's what that's my thing I always listen to like old music like I love new music but I like old music but basically the gist of what I'm saying is I want to do different type of content or different types of content I can't even talk right other than just me sitting down to talk about other people and I wanted to share what I've been going through because like yesterday when I was making that thumbnail and I know I'm jumping around a lot in this video this is me unedited this is like I really think I have ADD um, I was diagnosed as bipolar, but I believe that it was actually a misdiagnosis and I have ADD because I like my mental clarity is really good, but I still bounce between things. <laughs> I still bounce between things and it, it drives me crazy. But when I was sitting down making that thumbnail, I'll, always in the back of my mind, I feel like I'm under this, like, um, like I have a timer in my mind and I have to do all of these things that I have, uh, decided that I'm going to do. In a certain amount of time when there's really no time limit because I'm my own boss and I have to do things uh, uh, the way I want to do them. I, I can do them. I have to do. But <laughs> I do things on my own time schedule. There's not really much that I have to do that is on a time schedule. But I always feel like in the back of my mind, I either didn't do enough or I'm not going to make a deadline that's actually not there. I'm sorry. I'm hitting my camera. There's a whole bunch of stuff on this desk. But yesterday, it just it became like abundantly clear to me that I need to like slow down and calm down because when I was making this thumbnail I got so aggravated with myself I actually got mad at myself and I didn't really understand why that was happening it totally just blew my mind I don't know if it was the way I was feeling with my mother uh and everything that I've been working on with the candle line and then YouTube like the stress of everything just built up and I got so angry with myself like I had to walk away and I, I, I came upstairs and I went to bed just to sleep because I felt like sleep was the only thing that was going to help me get out of my mood. And even when I woke up, I was in a slightly better mood, but it was just like all day. And even when I woke up today, which was like right before I'm filming this video, I still feel like, I don't know, I feel like something's wrong, but there's nothing wrong and it doesn't make sense. And I haven't felt this way in a really long time. And there's no reason for me to feel the way that I do. I'm not saying like anything bad. I just, I'm being my own worst enemy right now. And everything, like, I know a lot of people think what we do here on YouTube is very simple. And the optics of it are simple. And a lot of what we do is simple. But the amount of work that goes into some of the things that we do and the, um, I don't even know how to say it. Not the amount of work, but the attention to detail that I'm trying to give things. I feel like this is going to sound bad and this is a first world problem, but I'm going to fucking say it. I feel like there are people on this platform that do not work even a fraction as hard as myself or some other people. And they get rewarded for things that they really shouldn't. And I'm not saying that I make the best content out there. I've been trying. I've really stepped it up a lot lately. But I feel like YouTube rewards the wrong people. I took a lot of time off because Nick's mom passing away. And I'm having a really hard time getting back into this algorithm and I don't understand why some videos are hits and some's some's <laughs> and some are misses. I'm not editing editing this out. This is just going to be me completely raw and uncut. But there are people on this platform that do not do any kind of work and they just sit there and they make content and they get rewarded for doing mediocre shit while I'm sitting here busting my ass and I know that this is coming across as ungrateful. That is not the I promise you that I am so grateful for what I have. It's not a subscriber thing. It's not me being jealous of anyone. I assure you that. It's the fact that YouTube 
Like, if you take any amount of time off, your channel does not perform the way that it did before. And listen, I am very thankful and I'm very blessed that I don't really have to stress so much right now at this particular moment. And now it sounds like I'm taking off. Um, sorry. <laughs> Give me just a second. Let me turn that off. I was not going to put any edits into this video. I sound like I'm in a wind tunnel. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and just kind of vent. I know that I'm going to get dragged because I shared an opinion and I'm uh, an influencer and that I'm, I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky to be able to do what I do. And I do not by any means want to come across as ungrateful. I, what I'm trying to convey is it's not so much the YouTube thing. It's just everything together. And I think that the YouTube thing is the one thing that's just like tipping everything for me. And it's just driving me insane. But... I don't know, you guys. I'm going to continue trucking along, but I just felt like it would be kind of cathartic for me to come on here and just share kind of how I feel and what I've been going through and the things that I've been dealing with. Uh, I have a great life. There's so many different things that I'm grateful for, so many things that make me smile every day. I'm so happy, but at the same time, I'm not. Um, it's just the this aspect, like all the like shit that I'm trying to do, I feel like I'm trying to do too much. I'm surrounded by amazing people. I have Nick. He does everything for me. He's an amazing partner. I love him so much. I have Jen. Jen has been an amazing friend to me. She has helped me so much. I will never be able to repay her for, oh my God, for the, um, the shit that she does for me daily. Um, Vanessa, my friend Vanessa, she's been amazing. It's just... The stress of everything has just been so much. And then when you add your parent, like almost dying into it, it's just like, it's just so much. And I understand my parents are old. Your parents die, but that doesn't make it easier. But I've done way too much. I'm going to be dragged for this video anyway. So I'm just going to go. But you guys, have an amazing day. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.